Hello and welcome to the Caden Gordon Show today's best country mix. And joining me right here today is Brandon and Brett from Holiday State. Hi guys, how's it going? Good man, how are you? Doing good, doing, bro. Doing fantastic. Thank you so much for asking. Cool. So, kind of tell us a little bit about um, how you got started in music, Brandon. You can go first. Um, so it kind of started off with you know when we get together with the family and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, our, our dad's from Hawaii, so. Um, family gatherings they're always playing you know island music and hawaiian music and stuff our uh our grandma was a professional hula dancer at the royal hawaiian on oahu her and her sisters uh like five of her sisters um were all professional hula dancers so every time we get together with them that's when you know we'd, we'd all you know they would do like hula dancing and all that so that's kind of was like our first taste of music and then um our dad is really into disco and motown and r&b and then our mom was into like country, country pop, um, stuff like that. So it's kind of a, um, a blend of everything. They're always playing music around the house. And as kids, we're always dancing and singing. And then uh, like around our teen years is when we really started to, um, you know, we put together a band and I was singing lead. Brett was playing drums and, and Bri was on uh, the guitar. Um, so we just started out as a garage band, you know, like most bands do. And uh you know, ever since that, it kind of just took off from there. You know, one song came, two song, three song, and kind of just built it up over time. And then, uh, you know, that's that's kind of how it started for us, like around the early teen years. And what about for you, Brett? Kind of the same thing. I Actually, to be honest, Brandon and Bri were always more the musical ones. I was always the athlete of the family, or at least I'll say that. Um, it acts like he's the only athlete. So I was always I was always playing basketball, baseball, football, golf, a lot of those sports and stuff. And then it wasn't until later on, probably like mid high school days, somewhere after that, that Brandon and Briar were like, dude, let's just start playing music for fun. They were always doing it around the house. And then that's when Brandon just said I jumped on the drums and I, I always wanted to be a drummer. I never knew what I was doing, but I really just learned how to play myself. And then from that moment on, it just became a passion of ours that we all ended up doing together. We kind of broke away to different things here and there. But for the most part, my mom was like, the only way it's ever going to work is if you guys come back and do it together because you guys can always rely on family and stuff. So after a couple of years here and there and doing stuff, we, we came back and really just started to pound the pavement and do it ourselves, the three of us. And it's, it's been great ever since. So that's awesome. So, um, when did you guys kind of get together and start the band Holiday State? Uh, that was started around 2015. Um, that's kind of, you know, Brett was, Brett went to a university, went to college, and me and Bri were mm -hmm. always, you know, doing music together. And, you know, we asked Brett if he'd like to, uh, you know, join us again. And so we, we started the, uh, the trio and, you know, here we are, what, seven years later. <laughs> um you know still going strong and you know just trying to put out good music and music that you know means something to us and to the fans and you know just trying to book as many shows as we can and get the name out there and uh you know it's something we love to do it's 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 great to do it with your brothers and you know travel the country and you know live those experiences you know together and experience mm -hmm. everything so um yeah man we, we have a blast doing it and um you know continue to do it that is just absolutely amazing so um guys if you could pick anyone that you guys could do a duet or collaboration with who would you choose and why go ahead brett man that's a tough question i would go outside of the world of country and i'd probably can they be dead or alive or does it matter if, if either or I mean, either or for me it's like my biggest influence is michael jackson anytime mj's on it's like your attention's right on him. So the way, he, him. <laughs> the way he captivates the audience and the way he writes and dances and everything and watching some documentaries on how he like piece, you know, Billy Jean together and things like that. It's crazy to see like the masterpiece that, that he, that he is when he really, you know, pieces it all together. So mm -hmm. Michael's always, Michael will always be number one to me. It doesn't matter what genre, but nobody tops him in my opinion. So that'd be awesome. That would be awesome. And what about for you, Brandon? Um, for me in the country world, I think I would love to collab with 
God, that's tough. There's so many people. I mean, in the in the like the pop world, I think Bruno Mars would be cool. Um, mm -hmm. you know, he kind of reminds me actually of Michael Jackson in a way. Like he's a performer, he's mm -hmm. a showman. Um, you know, his dancing, his singing is incredible, and just the way he puts on a show and like his vibe and everything is just really cool. Um, super talented. And then in the country world, um maybe like Hardy or something, because Hardy's like crazy like producer and songwriter and he makes so many hits and i think just working with him would be um something that a lot of people would love to do he's uh mm -hmm. he's built this this crazy songwriting career and now you know his artist career is taken off and um yeah he's he's a genius man so i feel like we could learn a lot from being in the in the studio with him so that would be cool that would be cool so, um, Brandon, why don't you tell us a little bit about any new singles or upcoming project projects Holiday State has? Uh, we actually just put out a single of, what was it, about a month and a half ago? Yeah. Uh, yeah, the single's called Indio. Uh, we put it out right before Coachella and Stagecoach, just because that's where the festivals are in Indio, California. And, uh, yeah, that was our most recent one. It's, it's done really well. We got a lot of good press. And some write-ups, you know, the mayor of Indio and uh, the city of in Indio, you know, they were all, you know, supporting mm -hmm. us and playing the song. Um, you know, we did some interviews with them and, and they really liked the song. So we got some good press out of it. It's basically a song that we wanted to write. Like we started writing it back in 2020 when all the, you know, the festivals were being canceled because mm -hmm. of COVID. Um, <laughs> so we wanted, we sat down and we're like, let's write a song, you know, to pump people up so that, you know, when festivals do return, um then we can you know give the people something to look forward to and so that's that's what the song is all about just heading out to indio with your friends and uh you know just having a good time and uh you know getting back to normal life and festival season and kind of a homage to to california festivals so that's awesome so um what does a typical day look like for you two <laughs> or like a day to day <laughs> <laughs> be completely different like i i have a, a side gig that i work on i do a lot mm -hmm. of different designing and and uh product management for a lot of sports apparel and footwear industry so mm -hmm. i'm involved in that uh, a lot of the stuff with nba nfl nhl a lot of those things so um so when it's not when it's not that you know we're all jump on calls together. Brandon and I don't live far from each other. Our little brother, he's actually based up in Idaho. So sometimes we'll jump on calls together. We'll, Brandon's always sending like different, different tracks, different things to ride on. So send it over, play with melodies, mm -hmm. you know, potentially ride on that and see like if we want to take it in as a song and continue to write and produce on that. So um, yeah, always just trying to evolve on the music side of things reach out to a bunch, bunch of different things, a bunch of different people. For us as independent artists, it's, you know, we're driving a lot of our own su success right now until we get a team around. So trying to book a bunch of stuff and really just uh, keep things mo keep things moving and the momentum going in the right way. So for me, it's kind of all over the place between music and, and uh, DJ. Yeah, DJ too on the side. So I'm constantly doing a bunch of different clubs and parties and stuff like that. So music's, the, music's the, the best thing people love having that around so whether it's performing or DJing um outside of music and sports I feel like that's the big entertainment and I'm kind of involved in both so mm -hmm. it's the best of both worlds so uh it's good for me it's like so a normal day would be like get up at 2 p.m uh, <laughs> yeah. <I'm> 2 p.m <laughs> <laughs> uh no, I mean, I, I, I sleep in, I'm like, I, I go to bed late because I'm usually up, you know, yeah. writing or recording demos and stuff. Um, and I'm really into movies. So I'm always watching different movies and stuff, but yeah, I'll get up, I'll get up pretty, pretty late, like 10, 11 AM and, you know, just try and see what I can do to further the careers of, you know, this group. I reach out mm -hmm. to booking agencies and, and management companies, record labels, um, mm -hmm. you know, you name it, the, the venues, promoters, all that, just trying to, uh, you know, get the name out there and get, get people to, to notice us and, um, you know, try and book shows. And, you know, that's like a, mm -hmm. 
everyday thing for me, eat, sleep, drink music, you know? So, um, whether it's, you know, recording the studio or songwriting or, um, you know, working on different tracks, you know, I'm not a huge producer, but like I can produce stuff here and there, get on the guitar and just messing around with some melodies. But, uh, yeah, for me, it's, it's music all day, every day. So, um, yeah, that's, that's what I do. <laughs> that's awesome. So, um, where can people find you guys on social media if they want to, uh, keep up with what your guys are doing? Uh, you just go to our website, holidaystate.com. That's probably the best place to go. And then all the links to all our social media is there. Um, we're on Instagram a lot, which is at holiday state. That's the one we kind of tend to the most. Um, but yeah, we have a, a Facebook, TikTok, um, and, uh, yeah, website, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. What else is our YouTube channel? Pretty much yeah. everything. There's so many now. It's like it's it's all yeah. over the place. But if you just go to holidaystate.com, you can find you know the links to everything there. To you know our our music videos and our our Spotify, our songs, and you know all those streaming platforms, and you know get to know us you know mm -hmm. through there and through our souls through uh, Instagram. We we like to talk on Instagram. You know, talk to the fans and um that's that's where you'll find us the most so if you want to hit us up hit us hit us up on instagram absolutely and um do you guys have a message for those who have been fans of you for a while or anyone new that's listening or watching this yeah so for the new people yeah. check it out yeah. i uh, i feel like you won't be disappointed it's great country country pop music um little cali country um in that as well um and yeah, just thank you to everyone, you know, for the support and, you know, for, you know, listening to our music and, you know, hitting us up and, and all that and, and chatting with us and coming out to the shows, you know, we can't thank you enough. That's why we, why we do it. Ditto. That's wonderful. And Brett, Brandon, is there anything that I forgot to mention that you guys would like to mention? Oh, June 25th. We're playing the Independence Day celebration in Menifee, California. It's a free show. We go on at 8 p.m. There's going to be fireworks at 9 p.m. Um, supposed to be like 10,000 people out there. So if you want to cruise out and have a good time, if you're in the area, um, come to the Menifee Independence Day celebration. And also July 1st, we're going to be playing at Veterans Park, opening up for Drake White um, in Big Bear, California. So... Those are, those are the two shows we're working on right now. That's awesome. Well, Brandon Brett from Holiday State, thank you so much for taking the time to come on the King Warren Show today's Best Country Mix. We appreciate your time so much for being here today. Hey, thank thanks you. for having us, man.